I'm John Batchelor, Jet Babin, writing most recently the Washington Times, and that is McCotter, WJR, the great voice of the Great Lakes. I go to Mr. Babin because news from Australia. This has to do with a weapon system called the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The headline from Australia is that it has cancelled its plans to purchase the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, which is understood as a short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft. It's the Swiss army knife of fighter aircraft. It can do everything, including swim on its back. Yes, absolutely everything. But Prime Minister Tony Abbott, thumbs down to its purchase for its troop, tra troop transport assault ships. This, after a long and checkered career of the F-35 in development, not in development. So let's begin with fundamentals, Jed. What is the F-35 built to do, and why would Australia reject it? Well, the F-35, John, is built to be the low fighter. Back in the good old days when we had the fighter mafia running the Air Force, you had the high fighter. The high fighter's task was to be the air superiority weapon. No enemy aircraft could fly in the presence of an air superiority fighter. We had air dominance, and it's been going on since, oh, I don't know, 1953, when the last American soldier was killed by a foreign combat aircraft. So the Air Force does that high fighter pretty well. The low fighter is responsible for pretty much anything else. You're doing close air support, you're doing bombing and strafing, launching smart weapons and bomb things, all those cool shots we saw uh, at the opening of the Gulf War. All of those things are done by the low fighter, the F-16, F-18. The F-35 is supposed to replace first the low fighter, but now everybody's decided that in addition to having the capabilities to do that. Oh, well, we're going to do air superiority with it, too, because we don't have enough F-22s. We don't have anything else. We're retiring the F-15s and all the other aircraft. The F-15, the F-16, and the F-18, and the A-10 are all going to be retired in favor of this thing. We're so going to retire the F-18? Oh, eventually, and pretty soon. That's they're going to replace all right, it. Sorry. They're replacing sorry, it with sorry. the F-35. Sorry. This, this sorry. billion dollar, $400 billion boondoggle that's called the F-35, they're all being replaced every one of those airplanes. So that's what we're doing. We're making this aircraft in three different versions, and it's not going to do anything, frankly, very well. That is? Uh, Jed, is this an instance of an attempted reform to consolidate into one craft all the operational requirements that the military needs, and a simple case of a reform gone awry, or is there, shall we say, gaming in Casablanca being what it is, con <laughs> congressional pressure or administration pressure because of where the development and the production of this aircraft may be taking place? Thaddeus, I think you broke the code. It's all of the above. I mean, number one, really, seriously, we have a lot of people betting on this thing knowing it can't do the job. Now, number one, with the last time we tried to do this was in the 1960s with what was become the F-111. It was so big, so heavy, and so bad that they tried to, well, first off, they tried to make it suit the Air Force as a fighter, the Navy as a carrier aircraft, and the Marines as a, a bomber. And as it turned out, it did nothing well. So the Navy didn't even buy it. The Air Force found a niche for it, and it was a failure. The F-111 was a real big failure. It was a horrible amount of money spent on it. Well, now we've got the Army, Navy, and the Marines. I'm sorry, the Navy, Marines, and the Air Force all saying, well, we're going to have this thing. We just think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's stealthy. It's fast. Well, it's not stealthy if you hang anything on the wing, anything at all. It loses all its stealth. It's not very fast. It's got only one engine. And as a Lockheed test report that came out a couple of weeks ago showed, it can't dogfight. So Mike Hostage, the commander of Air Combat Command, said last year that in light of what was going on with the F-35, the F-35 was, quote, irrelevant, end quote, unless it had the F-22 flying cover for it. That tells me somebody made a really big mistake. You only have 187 F, uh, F-22s. You're going to have 2,400 or so F-35s. The numbers don't work, John and Thaddeus. You can't defend 2,400 F-35s with just 187 F-22s. Can't be done. I read here that it lost a dogfight to an F-16. It did. And the, the Isn't the F-16 40 years out of date? Well, 35 anyway. Okay. John, give Excuse it to me. Generous. Sorry. Yes, be yeah, generous. Okay, fine. It's in its 30s. Yes, yes. it's in its 30s. And, and it, it was, lost a dogfight. It lost a dogfight. Do you fight. think the Russians didn't read the paper that day? Yeah, probably not. I don't okay. think the Chinese missed it either. I don't think anybody 
nobody missed it. And I think that's why that's why the Aussies came out and said, no mas, we're not doing this. That is? So, why are we continuing this insanity? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're looking for logic in all the wrong places, Thaddeus. I know you're a very powerful brain guy, but there's no logic to this. The political pressure from the administration you pointed out earlier, the dedication of the politics in, in this thing, they have spent so much money on this thing. It's like another sunk cost. The F-35 is too big to fail, although it's failing every day. Uh, how much money, you ask? $400 billion to purchase 2400 eventually, and maintenance costs of $1.5 trillion. Uh, we could buy a lot of other smaller aircraft for $1.5 trillion. Well, we could, and we, pro and we certainly should. We should stop the F-35's production right now and say, let's go back and maybe fix this thing. But the problem with this, John, is you can, only, you can spend enough money on this eventually maybe 20 years from now, to make it a workable airplane. But the underpowered nature of it, the single-engine nature of it, it's never going to be able to dogfight. You know, you can, you can spend enough money on this thing maybe to make it a passable aircraft, but if you take enough time and you spend enough money, you can build the Starship Enterprise. That is? Well, so, who are the champions of this? <laughs> I mean, coming from Detroit, well, the, the F-35 sounds a little like a car we used to make here very briefly called the Edsel. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you put big enough engines on the Edsel, it'd fly too. Uh, but I think you've got the California de delegation. You've got the leadership of the Air Force in the Pentagon, the Navy in the Pentagon. They're just not looking at what's going on with this thing, and they are to the point where they're retiring the A-10 early, the close air support aircraft that's working right now, that is flying in defense of, well, wherever Americans are fighting. This is the most important aircraft for close air defense we've ever had. And the Air Force is now saying, well, we are not going to have enough uh, money if we spend money on aircraft maintainers for the A-10, so we're going to retire the A-10 early. This is insanity, Thaddeus. It really is. The Russians are claiming they have a fifth-generation fighter that's on par with the U.S. F-35. I don't know if that sounds like a good thing <laughs> to well, say you're going to compete with the F-35. John, the best news is the Chinese hacked the computers uh -huh. and they stole the design for the F-35. And they have a duplicate of it in so, the J-10. So that's the plot. We were always going to build a bad airplane because the Chinese <laughs> would steal it and build a worse airplane. You know, if that's if we're that smart and we're that good, boy, we could spend a lot of money on it. But, hey, you know, that maybe works. So rather than beat our swords into plowshares, we beat them into F-35s that can't perform. They may be able to plow. Australia canceling. That has to be a blow to the Pentagon. Huge blow. It's going to be the first of several. I think there are going to be many. If you look at what happened in Britain... David Cameron has cut the defense right, budget right, there right. so badly, he can't afford but the F-35. Australia just canceled. That just canceled. No said no. All right, Jed Babin, Washington, writing in the Washington Times about the F-35, not yet ready for primetime. Thaddeus McCarter, WJR, the great voice of the Great Lakes. I'm John Batchelor.